Hey, how are you guys doing today? It's the Ungodly hey, Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And we're going to do a quick podcast today because we haven't done one in like two or three weeks. Yeah, the uh, holiday season has been hell. Uh, both of us sick. Shit. Dying. Just horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just been pretty pretty terrible. Like everything's just been smacking us and beating us down. I'm pretty sure there was dick involved at some point. I I don't know. It's it's really bad. Um, you can kind of hear it in my voice how I'm still uh feeling pretty shit. Um, but thankfully, you know, coffee is there to help. Yay, coffee! Yes, coffee and tea. My I'm still not there from last week when I had no voice. Um, just now, kind of coming back from it. <laughs> Yeah, it's um like I said, it's pretty rough. Um, we are not in person today. Um, today we uh we're gonna do some things over Discord, so you might hear some weird audio artifacts, mostly on Luke's end, as the internet says, "Fuck you, I'm gonna fuck up your recording." Yeah. Um, <sighs> but but that's okay. Yeah, no, that's we're completely tired fine. And sick and lazy. <laughs> yeah. Like we we decided that after a couple of weeks, you know, we want to bring you guys at least a little something. Um, and something pretty big happened. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so last night, fucking. Well, do we want to talk about any news of the stupid before we go into the main thing today? Like, do we want to? Um, do we want to do really. that? Not really, because I mean, I have a... stupid shit happened. I had like. I have like 36 tabs open on my phone from different like random news stories that have happened because I have like been saving stuff. And I looked uh, like two days ago when I was thinking about the podcast and I was like, I don't give a shit about any of this. <laughs> oh, there is one thing. There's like one or two things that uh, even remotely. <laughs> there is one thing I do want to talk about. Um, it's a real brief right. thing. Kind of made me giggle. Um the U.S. government did list Wakanda as a trade partner for a short while on their uh, on their website on the FCC site, I believe. Oh no, USDA. Um, yeah. USDA. USDA. Um, that is the U.S. Department of Agriculture listed Wakanda as a free trade partner. Uh, yep. But. Yep. Okay. As yep. a someone fucking with everybody. Um, nope. It was um, legit. Somebody was like, "Yeah, we trade with Wakanda. That's a great city. Did you see that?" I like, think. I think the way it was is at first it was serious, um, but apparently it was added to the list by accident during a staff test. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's, it sounds like it was all around a, both a joke and a mistake. But it's kind of hilarious. And I just wanted. I just wanted. Listed, I like that. That's yeah, no. Funny. I just wanted to touch on that one little thing. Uh, I don't. There's not. I, I have a bunch, um, and some of them I would like to talk about, but it'll have to come at a later date. Um, yeah. When my throat doesn't feel like it's being torn up by goblins. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Star Wars happened. Star Wars happened. They, yes. Um, they done did release the Rise of Skywalker last uh, night. Episode 9, it, it popped up, and uh, we went and saw it. Um, so how about that Mandalorian? <laughs> I still have not watched um, Episode 7. Okay. Um, because... The Mandalorian is such a good series. Because, you know, last night I, I got home, I didn't feel all that good, and I tried to lay down. It didn't work, and then I eventually did kind of fall asleep. Um, but I had that kind of sleep where, like, every hour you're just waking up, looking at the clock, and cursing everything. Yeah. So. Understandable. Yeah. I stayed up for a little while and then got a, a quick nap in before mm -hmm. now. But I got to work tonight, so I got to be up anyway. Yeah, no, you got you got a pretty good excuse. After we're done here, I throw some shit together, and then I upload this, and I can go and, and die if I want to. There you go. But anyway... Star Wars. Rise of the Skywalker. Um, we'll, we'll do a quick, like, review, and then we're totally going to spoil the shit out of it. 
Um, so oh. like before we even start, we have our tagline for the movie, which is also the episode yeah. of the podcast. Um, it's a uh, Skyrim fetch quest, star Wars edition. Yeah. Because that, that's basically what this movie kind of ended up being. It um, kind of sums it up pretty well. Yeah. It is, it is a series of go here, get a MacGuffin. Yep. Uh, go here, get a MacGuffin. And at no point is it really, it, it it's not even like a good get the MacGuffin. It's no. most of the time they go to a place and it's ha- like, oh God, how do we find it? Here you go. Oh, yep. thank you. Yeah, and no, then they um, go to the next place. That 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 and is sometimes stormtroopers get in the way a little bit. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, they they pop up, they fire a few you know things, they get shot down really easily because stormtroopers, despite in the original trilogy being said to be the most deadly soldiers on the planet, like the universe or whatever, um, they can't hit anything for shit. <laughs> so. There's there's a moment in this movie. And it is 100% like it's it's kind of like in um, the first Star Wars where Han and and Chewie and them. And I think they did it for humor in that movie where Han is like running and and chasing stormtroopers and then running away from stormtroopers. Ha ha. It's funny. And but they're shooting and things on the halls, taking cover in this. There's a point where I think it was Finn and. Um. Um whatever the other character's name is. I can't even think now. Poe? Uh, Poe. They're, uh, them and somebody else are running down a hallway, it's, and they're um, gunning down stormtroopers like they're fucking targets uh, at target practice. Yeah, There's no, yeah. they don't stop. They don't look like they're in trouble. They're just gunning them down left, right, and center. And it's like, it's like watching someone playing fucking Halo on the easiest fucking difficulty where you can't die it, you'd have to try to lose and they just run and gun everyone down until suddenly they're surrounded and then they, they they have to drop their weapons it's it is it's like are you are you serious <laughs> there's no threat there's no threat whatsoever yeah yeah no pretty much but um... i mean it's that's 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 kind of how the movie feels, and if it's not feeling like a fetch quest, it is one hundred percent retconning and just or ignoring or trying to fix everything from the last movie. Yeah, this feels this feels like a trilogy's worth of movies. In they tried <laughs> to put it all in one from the opening crawl. It feels like that. Yeah, like, for sure. It at no point is its own movie. Um. What you know, it, it is just kind of all over the place in that regard. Yeah, like, it's a mess. Um, not not that that's necessarily bad. I still think I, f- I feel like I I definitely enjoyed the flex still. But it, it, you're right, man. It's just, it's so it's discombobulated. Everything just kind of jumps all over the place. Um, I would still say it's more of a Star Wars movie than the last movie was. Oh, uh, for sure. It's it, it is probably the most Star Wars movie that has ever been Star Wars because it it feels like somebody was like, <coughs> hey, what's in Star Wars? This is in Star Wars. Throw all of that at this. Yeah. And um, that's kind of the the other way the movie goes is and, and don't get me wrong. I actually do. Um, I, I don't think the movie is like fresh, I guess, is the best way to put it. If you want to go by like. Rotten Tomatoes metrics. I, I I think the movie's about like a two point five out of five or a, a fucking. I mean, it's it's perfectly four out of ten. Maybe it, it's perfectly average. Maybe like yeah, a I'm step a little I'm so. a little below average. Personally. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I would say it it's, has boom, all right of the Star Wars moments. If you want to see Star Wars, space battles, lightsaber fights, um, blaster fights, which actually they do look good. It's just they're so it's it's there's nothing the, the connective tissue isn't there. Yeah. Um, it still was enjoyable. Um, I say, I would say it's worth seeing. Especially, don't go pay full price for it unless you're a huge yeah, Star Wars fan. Yeah, don't do what we did and pay $15 for your ticket. Go see this shit matinee and pay like six bucks yeah. for it, you know? Um, it's definitely a movie I'd see in theaters because, I mean, it's right, gorgeous. Right, right, right. No, It's a spectacle absolutely. film. It's Star Wars. 
It's, However, it's also kind of boring. Yeah. Um, it's which one is of those, the greatest sin it makes. It's one of those things where, you know, it, there are moments of excitement, um, but they're spread out. And there's a lot of uh, just sort of random, you know, like we said, fetch quest running things in between. It's like, eh, this is okay. Um, there's there are, almost too much. Yeah. Like, there are points when there's action going on, and I'm bored because it just hasn't stopped. And it's not like it's um, so amazing that it's entertaining. It's just kind of happening, and you're just kind of like, okay, here we go again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely could see that. I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm kind of, it was fine. Yeah. It was fine. Um, so now we're probably going to start spoiling it. I, you know, like you said, yeah. go see it. Uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, it's worth watching. You know, just don't pay full price for it. Um, yeah, at least, I mean, you know, if you're somebody who wants to finish the trilogy too, um, cause like I, that, that's why I, even before, uh, I didn't, I, I, I like, I, I'd see this movie no matter what, because I've got to see the end of the series, you know? Right. <clears throat> Right. It's um, it's it's about it, 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 I think that's the best thing it does is it ties it up sort of, but it's eh. it, the attempt in it is what causes it so diff- it causes it so much problems. Yeah. Um. So, what did you think about at the end of the movie? And like we say, we're gonna we're start we're going ahead and gonna start spoiling it now. So if you mm-hmm. haven't uh, seen the flick, go ahead and stop this, go watch it, and come back. Um, yeah. End of the movie, she sits there, she takes Luke's and Leia's cybers, wraps them up, ties them away, and hides them back at Luke's home mm-hmm. on, uh, what was that? Well, where did he come from? Tatooine? Tatooine. Or? Yeah. So mm-hmm. she she sits there and does it, and then she pulls out a third lightsaber, and it's a yellow saber. And I it's like, huh. I don't know if I blinked, or I looked down, or if I was in a fugue state at that point, but for some reason, like, it was like out of the, the, she's burying them, and then all of a sudden she pulls out another saber, a yellow lightsaber, and it looks really like it, it was cool looking to be honest. Right. Um. And I was like, whoa, <clears throat> what? Where the fuck? What the fuck is that? Yeah. And then the random old woman is walking by and is like, hey, nobody's been here in a long time. What's your name? And she says, I'm. I, I don't. I have no idea what to think of it. It just happened, and I was like. I was caught off guard, I guess. I right, didn't. Right. I, 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 honest to God, thought I had, like, missed something. That it just came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> kind of how this movie feels. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, like I had forgotten that the movie was even a thing until you said something like, hey, man, you want to go see Star Wars? And I'm like, yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing. I forgot pardon me, that was coming out. And so... Yeah, no, the movie definitely was like that. I'm so I I, I remember. Yeah, I don't know. I like the I love the saber. Don't get me wrong. I like different looking lightsabers, and it looked cool for the half a second we get to see it. Right. I just I wonder. I, there's a lot of things in this movie that I feel like are are um one the whole movie is fan service too. We forgot to mention that. Oh yeah. But uh and and. I, we've said before I'm okay with fan service to a point, um, but I feel like there's so many little things. Like I can't wait for one of those um, like Easter egg videos for this because there's so many parts of this movie where I'm like, I think, I think I've seen that, and in like the the Star Wars Rebels cartoons and from all the different other Star Wars stuff, where I'm like, I think that's a thing, and I just don't. I, I haven't like watched all of Rebels or I haven't seen all this thing or that thing. And so I'm kind of like waiting for that. Like I, the, that lightsaber was one of those things where it's like, <clears throat> is that a thing? Should I like, should I know that? <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know, man. <clears throat> like, I'm pretty sure I, at least I'm, I think I saw the ship from rebels at the end when all of the ships from the galaxy show up. Um, they, the, they finally, they finally get their, uh, their backup after everyone's dead. <laughs> And all their like the new yeah, rebel right. alliance is basically wiped out. <laughs> their backup shows up. Um, 
But it it's like I, I think I saw the ship from Rebels there, which was in Rogue One for sure. Um, but I don't know about a lot of the other stuff. I just think there was a, like a ton. Right. All right. So did you did you notice this? A um, mm-hmm. little bit of discrepancy between lightsaber colors. Um, in like the flashback where she's watching Luke and Leia train and one has a green saber, one has a blue saber, and then she takes both sabers with her and they're both blue. Yes. Um, the reason for that is Luke's green saber <clears throat> was destroyed in was the last movie, the movie before it. She got the blue saber from Maz Kanata. Okay. Okay. Who had it somehow? Because the blue saber was lost in um, um, uh, Empire. Right. Uh, when it he fell down um, the uh, Bespin is it Bespin the the fucking gas planet where they meet uh, Lando and everything and where he fights Vader. I think that's where his blue saber fell. And then in Empire, he comes back with the green saber. And I can't remember where, because I think Ray uses the green saber at first. Or at some point, I think the green saber shows up in these movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and is destroyed, destroyed or something. But she does get the blue saber. And I believe she got it from Maz Kanata. I do remember that part. Um... Which makes sense. That's Luke would have his green saber while training Leia. Right. Um, the fact that he trained Leia to the point of Leia building her own lightsaber came out of fucking nowhere. I don't think they mention any of that shit in The Force Awakens or uh, a damn and damn sure not in um, uh, The Last of the Jedi. I mean, I like beyond her being force sensitive, I had zero fucking clue that she had no any straight up any training. Jedi. Yeah, like Jedi training, really? Where yeah, the fuck did is, that come from? Canon. Well, no, I'm sorry, not canon. It's that's in that's one of those things that's in um, the expanded universe. The ex- yeah, straight up, she she trains, has a lightsaber, um, fucking fights Luke at one point in some of the stuff where the Emperor comes back and Luke turns to the dark side, yada yada. But right, right. Which this almost feels like that's where J.J. Abrams got a lot of inspiration from right. for this for the his movie, the first movie and this one. Um, it just doesn't come out well because of how just like packed in of just random story bits this movie is where i think i think 100 percent there's a great story between these two movies not the middle one that could have could have made a, an amazing trilogy right um yeah that that that, that the, the lightsaber didn't trip me out i was happy to see it i thought that that scene was really weird um and it, it did it felt out of place to me like, did it feel kind of like? Yeah, yeah. It just it just it just felt odd. Like she's trained when she calls Leia master and is like the training stuff. I was like, whoa, wait, where's what? Where's this? What? And then that that little bit of backstory happens, and you're like, oh, okay, okay. yeah, all sure. Right. I'll go with that. Uh, Luke, the de-aged Luke, looked awesome in that scene, or whatever they did for that. Maybe not even de-aging. They might have just done a fucking face swap. That looked good. I thought Leia's looked a bit off. Yeah, no, like that. Um, that was like uncanny CGI value or weird. You call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like I just kind of looked at. It, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? No, that's not right. Yeah. You know, like what's wrong with her face? It looks it's like very, it's, I, it looks like it was painted the, on. Like what the hell? Yes, yes, it did. Yeah, Luke's <clears throat> fit in the helmet. Leia's kind of felt like it was plastered over the helmet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Like, a professional did Luke's face. They had an intern do Leia's face, you know? like Some, Somebody was just in a fucking hurry. Yeah, right. Like they, they, I wonder yeah. if maybe... Because there's a lot of this movie that was... It, it just seems like they had to pull out of their ass. And that... I wonder if that's one of the later things. Like, it was like a side idea that kind of got f- flushed out. And then at the very end, JJ's like, Oh, fuck. We have to explain why Ray's... Uh, been trained and and, and uh, uh oh oh oh, oh Leia and Luke there that, that was an idea we had so finish this up yeah like how yeah. do we do it just put two people in helmets and have them run through the woods and then do the the digital stuff oh okay sir <laughs> yeah basically I I feel like some cocaine went into the production of this movie and they just did random shit oh, like lots of cocaine 
Yeah, just. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Let's do I this. Know, let's, let's do this. Fucking uh, uh, smuggler. He's smuggler. He's, he's, he's yeah, he sold drugs. He's, and he's, he's gonna meet his crew, and they're gonna fight, and then they're gonna be friends, and then. Yeah. What? Didn't she just say she's gonna turn him in and get off this planet? Yeah. No. Right? Oh, okay. He's friends now because Ray's a girl and hit her with a stick. And okay. Beat her, beat her up. Like, oh, okay. Is that, is that all that's, it takes? That's, that's so, frustrating. Is that, that, is that was a frustrating. Story. Yeah. Right. Um, like, it was. It was. Uh, it was like, eh. Okay. Whatever. <clears throat> the Leia stuff. I. I'm surprised. I didn't. I don't. I, I didn't mind the Leia stuff. I. I think they did what they could with what they had. Yeah, which I mean, Ryan Johnson or whatever didn't leave them with much in regards nothing. to that. Yeah, Absolutely you know. nothing. Like he left them with nothing basically for the whole movie. Yeah, Ryan Johnson wrote an ending to a trilogy. He didn't. He didn't make a middle movie beyond even how bad it is. He seriously wrote the ending, and now they're trying to pick it up. And I didn't. I never. That was never made more apparent until seeing this movie. This feels like a tacked on attempt. It does not feel like the third movie in a trilogy at all. No, no. It doesn't even feel like it's in a movie series almost. Yeah. Um, it, it, it other feels than like you're expected to know some characters. Right. Like it feels like it's it's a reboot almost, or maybe like a yeah. side story that draws <laughs> from those other movies. You know, like, it know. almost, Oh my God. Reboot's a great way to put it. It almost feels like a bootleg version. Like the, um, the star um, Wars Christmas special, uh, uh, close in. No, no, no. Uh, what, it, what was it? Armageddon and, um, close impact or whatever that other, other, uh, oh, asteroid movie yeah, was that came yeah. out at the same time. This feels like the alternate, story the alt like the the other studios movie <laughs> to star wars <laughs> oh god but but the that stuff at least i didn't i didn't think the leia stuff was bad and i i wouldn't have gone that direction with it i think if you had no idea that that's what they had to do there are scenes where you'd be like well why is it that character doesn't look like they're there that looks like a green screen or or she's been digitally placed there i wonder why they did that right but other than that, like it's not it's not so obvious that the conversations are just snippets in things that they had to use. No, like they did um, a pretty good. But I, knowing I, and looking for it, I couldn't help but feel like the conversations were a not little, natural. A little odd, yeah. Um, it, it was if people were talk. It, it felt like people were talking to a hologram. Yeah, which is essentially what they were doing. Pretty much what they were and doing, and not because of their bad acting, but because the the what I would expect Carrie Fisher's reactions to be. Yeah, uh, weren't there. Yeah, which is shit. But hey, you, you do what you got to do. Yeah, like it, it almost felt like they were talking to a ghost, like creepy yes. almost in a way. Um, and that's basically like you said, hologram. That's basically what they were doing. They were talking to a ghost. Um, yes, you know, and it was just, it was just like like it's the odd. scenes with her were just okay. Disrespectful. Uh, yeah, you know, I was like, this is a little bit um, weird. There's one point where I don't know if maybe that was in. Um, uh, Rise of the, or, or um, uh, the first movie, uh, or or what? But the, at one point she gives Ray a pep talk, and I was like, "Whoa, where that <laughs> that where that come from?" That was the best part to me. Yeah. Um, and then uh, other than that, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious what they did, but yeah. still still pretty good. I didn't hate it. I didn't. It wasn't disrespectful or anything. No, no, not at all. Like it was. It was. I mean, those parts. All, um, all disrespectful. George Lucas. None of it. To, yeah. To <laughs> Fucking George Lucas. Fucking Ryan Johnson. God. Man, and they. This is. I and I hope this kind of teaches them to not take and allow three different people to all make their own movie in a trilogy and to have no plan which it's come out that there was from the beginning there was not any plan like boom 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 like these story beats throughout they just ryan johnson did whatever the fuck he wanted and wrote everything into a hole just because he was subverting expectations or whatever stupid shit he wants to say so it came to this third movie and it is it's it, it's a mess is what it is it's yeah. a lot of cool Star Wars stuff that at least we get that. The lightsaber fights are are absolutely fucking awesome. 
between yeah, no, Ray and Kylo. I mean, yeah, some of them are really good. I, yeah. I don't know. Um, like the scene where they're fighting on the destroyed Death Star and the water. Yeah. That, that was really cool. Um, I, I don't know beyond that, though. I, I'm just kind I of... Liked, uh, eh. I, I liked it. I, I, I didn't like basically... Like, everything with the Emperor was bad. Yeah. Um, other than, here's the thing is it was so, it was so over the top. I kind of liked it and it was so, it it was like, it, they, it, it's very obvious that I do not believe that they planned uh, that JJ Abrams or any, anybody planned on bringing the emperor back right. for just one movie or, or at all. Really? I don't think that you couldn't. You couldn't. I, I, I. It would be very difficult. I'd say. I can't say couldn't. It'd be very difficult to convince me that. Oh yeah, we were always going to bring the emperor back. Right. Because there's no. It. There's not even any build up. It's literally the opening crawl is the voice of the emperor is back, and yeah. then they spend twenty minutes to say the emperor's back and he's got a fleet. It's like, what? You just. Oh, oh! You you lost your bad guy, so now you're inventing a new bad guy. Okay, I see what happened. Well, because they, it's just so out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, yeah. To sit there and say, "Hey, look, Palpatine is back." It's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Why is he back? Oh, because he knows dark magics. Oh, okay. So he's he's a lich. Yeah, pretty much. He's he's like an undead, and he's got like I I will say though the stuff they did with him. Like, he's so beyond evil Palpatine, I kind of loved it. Yeah. And he's very shouty, and he's very unlimited powery, which is perfect for Palpatine. The, there's stuff that, like, the, the, the fact that he's got this massive army of, like, Sith worshippers was, like, it, it was so, it was metal as fuck. It didn't fit in this no. movie at all. No, not at all. Like, it was just... <laughs> It was just what the fuck, man! Just come out of nowhere. It was like, oh, you just had this? Yeah, yeah. It's just a planet. It, all these, yeah. No, we just this was here the whole time. We swear. It's a planet ever, that was here. It's just nobody could see it. Since the original trilogy, it's been here That's for for for, for uh, five hundred years. It's fine. It, it, oh, I, it may be longer. I don't know. Yeah, like, right. That, like, that temple, that Ves- I can't remember what planet they called it. Maybe Vesemir. That's popped into my head anyway. No, no, no. That, not, I swear that not, this not is in Rome. <laughs> or something very like this, because what I have seen of Rebels is when Vader in it comes into Rebels and like at one point fights uh, everybody and beats the shit out of all of them, and then Ahsoka Tana comes back and fights Vader. Um, that they, they're at a temple that looks just like this one. I don't know if it's the same temple, if that was a huge Easter egg to Rebels, but th- that's definitely fits a Sith temple and everything. So, I mean. 100% like you know I, I thought that was cool right. that they added like that that kind of stuff that you don't normally get in the main trilogy movies the the really hardcore uh, legends kind of stuff Sith temples and and stuff like that that was that was cool like I said it's metal as fuck it, it just fucking didn't really fit <laughs> yeah it it very um, forced. I, yeah. but I liked I liked the Emperor I liked how fucking evil he is. Uh, I thought his like all of his plan and stuff was dumb. Yeah, <laughs> he's the I largest mean, fleet in the galaxy because was dumb. I just, I just have it just because you know whatever. Yep. Fuck you. <laughs> we are the final order. <laughs> but I can't. I can't hate that. Like I hate it, but I can't hate <laughs> it too much. It was. It was so Star Wars. It was great. Um, I cannot find the name of this freaking planet, man. This is this is stupid. Yeah, I'd have to. I, I'd have to look up the end of uh, and maybe not even the end of Rebels, but the uh, the point where they fight uh, Vader on that planet and stuff. Uh, was which is if you ever want to watch something that's pretty good Star Wars, I can't say much for the whole series. I haven't watched it yet, but that stuff is fucking cool. And like I said, the goddamn Darth Maul comes back and yeah. like I think he fights Vader. One on one. Exegol. Uh, Exegol. Exegol. Yes. I found one place that was called like Corbon. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. It's Exegol. Uh, oh, Corbon is the Sith planet, the original Sith planet. Right, that's like the home planet. 
Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 apparently Exegol. Um, okay, Star Wars. Okay, so that it looks like that is from Rebels. All right. Yeah, they like Exegol apparently is inside like gravity wells and all this space mm-hmm. shit, and I'm like, all right, I could see that, you know, black hole, whatever, things in the way, fine. <clears throat> I don't know. It was a weird movie. It was a fun movie, but it was a weird one. Yeah, it was. It it's that's that's kind of the thing is it's. It's a movie that I wanted to have fun with and didn't have as much fun with as I want. Like I, I, I want. I knew the story would be bad. Like going from the last movie, it, yeah. it's guaranteed to be pretty fucking terrible. I mean, considering uh, the last then, movie had one of the worst stories of any movies I've ever seen. I mean, God. Yeah, this and this was like it, the Star Wars stuff is there. There's some of it that's good, but a lot of it was just pretty. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm. I'm definitely. That's one thing I do. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy is looking at all of the Easter egg type stuff that was in it, and be like, oh yeah, I I, I, I saw that, or I didn't see that, or I noticed that. Um. I liked. I liked the little bit we got a Lando and Chewie and stuff. Yeah, no, that was pretty cool. They uh, bought Billy D. Williams back, and he, you know, yeah. he reprised his role as Lando, and it was it was awesome. He's the only one left. Fucking uh, yeah, Leia does much. die in this movie, which makes sense. Um, I mean, considering Carrie Fisher fucking died, you know, yeah. I'm still so like I'm, that's something that's always just gonna bother the fuck out of me. You know, like, that's, I don't get it. Yeah, you could tell that they wanted they one hundred percent. Planned. I mean, obviously, you wanted, you would have wanted to have Carrie Fisher in this, but it's like they, they also wanted fucking Luke Skywalker to be alive in this movie. Yeah. He when when Ray has her conflict and goes and decides she's just going to run, um, because she's oh oh the gotta I gotta get a rant about that, um, but she decides to run and Luke stops her from basically destroying uh, his lightsaber. Yeah. Um, and convinces her to go back and, you know, not, not give in to the dark side, not give in to fear. Um, like he did fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that was uh, like, to me, I was like, Oh, this, he wasn't supposed to be dead here. He's, he should have been in this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. supposed to be a horse ghost. Um, but the reveal of Ray being, which I find hilarious because I somebody I saw somewhere somebody said something where J.J. Abrams had quoted way back like I I think it maybe when the last Je- or when uh, the Force Awakens was about to come out or after it had come out or when it was like when the movie was in production I don't know but he said something about Star Wars as a story about um, people who come from nowhere and become something great blah 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 and the person's like hey see he never planned on having Ray be anything special. Yeah. Um, when the person completely misunderstood the quote, because he's directly talking about Luke Skywalker, who came from nowhere, this random desert planet, and became the hero. But he still had the legacy of being a Skywalker. Yeah. Which is what this person was arguing as to why Ray didn't need to be a Skywalker. And in this movie, they've completely fucking done away with that anyway, because she turns out to be the Emperor's estranged granddaughter for right. some fucking reason. Just out of nowhere, you know. Somehow, yeah. you know. But while he was taking over the the galaxy, he went and fucking boned down. Yep. Mm-hmm. At some point. I just thought that was the dumbest shit ah that 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 was just like what really (laughs) that's what you're going with oh god it was that's just fucking stupid yeah Uh, they could have like they could have just not she could have been just a prodigy there is nothing in in like Oops. There's 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 nothing in Star Wars other than the Skywalkers themselves. Yeah. There's nothing else in Star Wars that says it's the forces passed down 
um, generation to generation. Nothing else in Star Wars. Yeah. As far as I know, like, like it's not something that's like a big deal, but it's like they had to in this. They have to figure it out. Yeah. I would, and and if you're gonna do that, it'd have been fine if it was like she's fucking Obi Wan's granddaughter or something, or but fucking Emperor <laughs> Palpatine. <laughs> Really? Yeah, no, she just had to be a Palpatine, yeah. It was dumb. And it was only only for story stuff. Only so Kylo Ren could be like, I'm the the, the grandson of Skywalker, or, or Darth Vader, you're the granddaughter of Palpatine, we're blah blah blah, made for Creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Their, like, on-again, off-again relationship <laughs> shit was fucking creepy. It was a little bit um, weird, yeah. It was like, it was like, fucking, it, it was like the, um cousin tab on Pornhub or something like that. Yeah. Or the sister. The, like the stepsister. Step-sister it was yeah. creepy as fuck. I, I, ugh. But that whole, it was just there so that she could be depressed about it. It was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it made a goddamn sense. I mean, with, like following the theme of Star Wars, though, it did make sense. Because, you know, George Lucas has always been about incest. I mean that. Oh, their little relationship, sure, fine, whatever. But yeah, but no, it, it was <clears throat> it was so dumb that she had to be like, oh, that's you know, she's oh, she has all his power. It was like an excuse as to why Ray is overpowered. No, yeah. she's overpowered because you overpowered her. Pretty it's much, it's dumb. Yeah, just just are you fucking kidding me? And I mean, maybe that would have been okay if it had been something that started in in the force awakens uh and i mean they hinted towards you know who's Ray's parents blah 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 yeah. and then if the 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 last jedi or whatever middle movie <clears throat> would have like continued dropping breadcrumbs and then making it like you know it, it could have been something interesting and then this movie the reveal comes and it's like oh my god no but instead it just kind of came and it felt like oh okay that's what you're doing? Pretty much. All yeah. right, then. <laughs> and then, oh, the Emperor wants to fucking take over her body or some weird shit. I, don't I know. am the Sith. What would you think about that, the ending? Um, I, I don't know. Like, I'm still processing <laughs> that. Right? Like, I'm still processing that. Because yeah. it was, it's just, I'm going to take your life force. <laughs> and he starts, like, like, starts draining them and restoring himself. And I'm just like, He's huh, okay. it, all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, this power, it's back!" It yeah. hadn't been in for centuries. Yeah, and it's like, oh, because why? Just because? Not, why? Like, can you explain to me what and was then, going oh, on okay. there? So now his plan has changed. He's going to fucking soul rend you and like suck your life energy and turn You're... himself into the emperor again. And yeah. Then... Yeah. And it was just like, huh? Okay. I mean, the scene it, itself was kind of cool. Yeah. But it just, it just like, it came out of nowhere, and I'm just like, huh. Like, and, like, like I knew, I know, like, in the expanded universe, um, they did expand on, like, Sith abilities to the point where, like, they could become immortal and stuff. And I'm like, oh, all right, that's a little bit weird. In different ways. Yeah, in different in, ways. Not, not quite immortal, but, like, like, like they, Extremely I, I think they could steal life. Yeah. They yeah. could steal life. Uh, I mean, Palpatine in in Legends had it set up so that his soul would transfer every time he died to a new clone. Yeah. Uh, or eventually, like, he was going to take over Luke Skywalker. Right. Um, so it's very similar. Like I said, a lot of this stuff seems like J.J. took it straight from the books that were set directly after um, Return of the Jedi. Right. Which was, like... That that not being a part of it, like again, it felt like nothing fit together. Like that alone, that whole scene, Ray Ray and Ren and fighting against the Emperor, blah blah blah. That was cool. Like closed off, but it wasn't good. It wasn't good with all the this other stuff. Yeah, it made no sense. Yeah, it was just weird. Yeah, and I don't know that that was just, but 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 like the the fight and like or the emperor like taking out all the ships with force lightning and being the absolute power that you know we always that you always wanted to see out of the Sith. That was fucking cool. Yeah, no, when he um, sat there on on his little throne and just said, 
Ah! Oh, I don't that. remember what he said. He might have might as well have said unlimited power. But that was that was fucking cool. And then the the it was it was fan fiction. It was, it was it was and that because him being like I am the Sith and she's like I am the Jedi. Oh, it was so stupid fan fiction. It and was the same fan time, fiction. I kind of loved it. Yeah, no, it was definitely it was definitely fan fiction. Um, and I would never it go was. so far as to say that fan fiction <laughs> is good, but it wasn't bad fan fiction really. But yes. You know? It like, was it was it was expected fan fiction. It was she, like it was acceptable she did fan no fiction. scope him but it was still very much Mary Sue power um self sacrifice fan fiction that was like, okay, fine. The the voices I did read the list of the voices yeah. um that 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 they have, uh, which was interesting. Um, like I, I didn't think Mace Windu was going to be one of the voices, and you directly hear Mace Windu. Oh yeah, it's no, straight up Samuel def- Jackson. I was, I was you, like, fuck yes, that one hundred percent. I loved that. The only thing that would have made it more obvious that he was speaking is if he'd have slipped a motherfucker in there, and it's like, yes, yes. yeah, that was good. But yeah, I did. I kind of. That's one of those things that kind of made that cringy. I am the Jedi. Okay, is that yeah. it, you had that behind it? I don't know. It was that was it was self contained. It was good as the in the whole of this movie, it was a mess and it happened. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I like I said, I enjoyed it. Um, it was definitely better than episode eight. So I it mean, was it, better than eight. It was <clears throat> it, it, like I said, it feels like it's not even a part of this trilogy, but at least it's done with. Yeah, the Disney the Disney trilogy has is finalized. It's done. Um, I hope that they take, and I don't know what the numbers are. I was looking a little bit last night. And I saw reports <laughs> it was bombing in China, which really shouldn't surprise. I think the, every Star Wars movie is all of the Disney Star Wars movies have bombed in China. They're not. They're not. This one is the most explosion filled. So if this one didn't work, then none of them would ever work. But yeah, yeah. in any case, I I felt like when we saw this movie that there was way fewer people and even coming out like no one no one was in the theater. <clears throat> no. And it was 1055. So it was late. But for the opening of a Star Wars movie yeah. there, that was nothing. There was no one there. They, they their pre ticket sales must have been like pathetic because <laughs> pre ticket sales for like Avengers Endgame. And that's what you have to compare this to. Right. Right. Like there's nothing. There's nothing else this big um, other than the comic book movies, Avengers Endgame, Avengers um, Infinity War type stuff. Yeah. And those were absolutely packed. And I think we saw one of those at like 1130, either Infinity War or Endgame. Um, let me check my email real quick. Either way, it doesn't. It, I mean, it, it, it just felt like it, this was nothing compared to those movies. I mean, it was as it was, far as people and ticket sales. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty. Yeah, like the, the, the attendance and people was pretty uh, pretty lackluster. I I'd say. Um, yeah. Yeah. I I loved um, I love the Mandalorian. I'm hoping if this does if it does well, then fine, whatever. They won't learn anything and they'll continue to shit out garbage. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that the fact that the Mandalorian is getting like universal praise for being fucking amazing. Uh, and that this is still going to probably be very, this is going to be uh, e- divisive, probably not divisive in the same way. The last Jedi was right. Uh, even though they just wiped that away as, Oh, you're just trolls because they're fucking assholes. that can't see what's in front of their faces. Right. Or it can't take that. They made a bad movie. Uh, I hope that if this doesn't do well, it kind of shows them that, oh, we need to do Star Wars differently and we need to do it better. Yeah. The Mandalorian is a good example of that. That's how you do Star Wars. And they shouldn't have ever attempted to continue um, the Skywalker story in the first place. Yeah. If that was going to continue, it should have continued years and years and years ago. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, I don't know. 
I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm done, guys. I'm not feeling well. That's all I got. On that. I can't talk anymore. So. I get. I think it's just barely average. If. If yeah. Average. Just, just below, just below average for me. Yeah. Yeah. There's stuff that was cool, in it, but sure. nothing yeah, it, no, as I a mean, whole. It wasn't. There were there were funny moments. There were action packed moments. There was there was like legitimately, you should never try and write comedy again. Moments too, like of course uh, they can yeah. fly now. They can fly now. They can fly now. Look at camera. Wah, wah. Like that was that was bad to a level. I. I, I just fucking couldn't handle. I mean, that that didn't bother me. You know, that that's that's a joke that you see all oh. over the place. Uh, it, for me, it was like, okay, you're gonna you're gonna go there, whatever. That's fine. Don't care. Um, I don't know, guys. You know, like we say, go see it. It's it's not uh, maybe. It's not completely terrible if you're a fan of the movies. You know, go for it. If you're a fan of Star Wars, period. Go see it. Like we said, don't pay full price. Don't don't see don't. a matinee. Yeah, watch it on Netflix or, or uh, Disney Plus when it comes out. Yeah, it's not going to be on Netflix. Um, I can say it, I do want to go back and watch um, uh, the uh, Ry- or fucking Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fan service movie, the shot for shot remake of the original movie, basically. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, go see it guys. And if you like to hear our stupid voices and you, you, uh, appreciate these little, you know, things that we talk about, go to patreon.com slash ungodly geeks and give us some money because we could use it. <laughs> yeah. Um, or at least, you know, give us a review. Give us a review. Us. Give us a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, but we're going to cut it off there. My voice is starting to, uh, you know, go out. Um, so for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you later. Fuck you. Fuck Ryan Johnson. Yes, fuck Ryan Johnson.